All right, my friends, I'm here with Joseph, the Lonely Coaster. This is his spot, and look, it's got tunnels. We've got an urban bridge here, but the coolest thing is, you can see over there, it just disappears into a forest. And as it gets back there, he was telling me that it gets really clear and really narrow, and that there is all kinds of fish back there. It's a real good spot, actually. You can find some redfish in here. You can get bass, grass carp, buffalo carp, alligator gar. Flounder, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here to so it's, uh, have fun with. It's brackish water, correct? Yes, brackish water. So we got we got salt water coming in from this way, fresh water coming in from this way. So we get the best of both worlds. So we're gonna get in our kayaks and push way back there. We might go a mile or two back there and see what we can find. Thank you guys for watching. And thanks to Joseph, this looks like it's gonna be a blast, man. All right, let's do it. Dude, this is so freaking gnarly, man. Did you just catch that? Yeah. What? Yeah. Where? Right here, in the, like under the bridge. <laughs> I threw it to Bro, you didn't even, you didn't even say nothing. I see it, I was like, I'm off, but I didn't say, I don't think I said another one. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. I look up and he's got a fish. <laughs> Sorry, man. Let me. Yeah, once we make this little. Oh, no, you're good. Once we make this little turnaround, that's where it starts getting a little bit deeper. Oh, okay. Oh, dude, I'm so. Like the water's getting a little bit greener over there. Yeah. Yeah, that's what. All right here. Yeah, I've caught a lot of fish just all along this little. I'm so stoked you already got one, dude. Yeah, no, that shot me right there. I didn't expect to catch one. Right there. <laughs> Dude, this is so cool. Yeah, dude, this, this is, is so cool. But see, this is not why I don't bring all my rods. Yeah, no kidding. I'm already. This is a lot lower. I mean, a lot higher than what it was when I've been coming. Yeah. Like, I didn't have to worry about this right here. That's why you call it the jungle. Yeah. The people don't know I'm right here. Like, you can hear people talking. People really can't talk. Dude, look at this. Oh. We're about to get to that, uh, the jungle part. Like, I mean, this is all the jungle, but where it all started from. And you'll see, like, the water's going to be rushing out. Because there's a water treatment center, right? Oh. That's what's pumping this fresh water out. Oh. And then it mixes with the... Water. Dude, there's gotta be redfish right here. Yeah. It's bothering me. Got him. Yep. That one? Yep. Nice yes. one. Yes. Dude, we're literally just saying there's gotta be redfish right here. That's crazy, man. Beautiful, man. He's got the blue tail. Real blue, right? Yeah. Oh, I love that, dude. Oh, that. Oh, it's super blue. Yeah. That is so cool. Let's watch him go. I, was, I love that, man. I, there's got to be redfish right here. Boom. Yeah. And then also, too, knowing that they're deeper in here, that means that we probably passed a few up, too. Yeah. So on our way back, we can get it a little bit more thorough. Thank you. Are you bringing a pole? Yeah, for sure. These are like normally just a pole, right? So where you'll see, you won't see none of these rocks. Oh my god. How big? Oh, really? Yeah, that's just kind of cruising through here, and he'll 
turn back around and go all the way back to where you were at and then come back. But this water is usually up to like right here. He living his best life. Uh-huh. I've lost so many lures right here. Cause this is where I've also caught like, I mean the biggest bass I've ever caught in here was like two pounds. Which is still impressive That's for this the, area. Yeah. Yeah, this is where I started trying to take your little ideas. Like when it gets real hot, I'll throw it as deep as I can in there. Have you ever pulled anything I'll out, a bass there? out of here? No way. Yeah, so like the same, about a pound and a half, two pounds. I'll see like the biggest mullet I've ever seen in my yeah. life right in here. Yeah. Like 16, 15 inches there. Yeah. They're huge. Come on. Nice, man. You got a gar- oh my gosh! You still got him? Yeah! He's big! Dude, I'm gonna come help you. Right. How did you- how did you hook him? Uh, because remember I took my the shrimp? Oh yeah? And I let- he bit it and I let him just kind of go with it. Dang it, I'm sorry man, no, I'm on good. the wrong side. Okay, you're good, you're good. Here, yes, That's cr- have you done that before here? Not in here, nuh-uh. I've caught gar before like that, but like trolling. Oh, pull him to the left. No, oh, we got him. Got him. <laughs> Heck yeah. That's crazy. You got him on there. Heck yeah. Let me loosen up. Man. That is crazy. That's so cool, dude. That's. What's up? This is an alligator gar, it's just a baby. Okay, now stay. Yeah, you can hold the net. You can get the net back. I'm gonna let him go as soon as I. No! No! Are you serious? <laughs> you can get the net. Oh well. That was cool though. That was oh, cool. Well. <laughs> no! Got him, buddy. Yes. Fun size red. Right at that lay down like a bass. Literally. That is so cool. All right, all right, all right. Hey. Literally pulled it out of that lay down. Felt the thump. That's awesome. Nice, dude. Heck yeah. Go on. You gone? Bro, what a... What do you got? I don't know yet, dude. It's huge, man. It has to be a guard. Take it easy, buddy. Loosen if you need to. Bro, it's towing you. You still got it? Oh, yeah. Is that drag I'm hearing? <laughs> you, you seen it yet? Listen to your drag. <laughs> yeah, I'll try and push you out of the Oh no, dude. Oh, careful, buddy. Care ah! <laughs> Look at the boil he left. It's a gar. It's just a freaking beast. Did you have him in the mouth? I don't, I don't I think he spit it, but I think I didn't allow him to swallow it. Did you see him? I didn't even get to see him.
Oh, dude, was that not you right there? What? It's a fish right between you and me. I got him, buddy. Good one, dude. No, he pulled off. Oh, dude, that was a big fish. Oh, shoot, man. I even saw him and everything. Dad gummit. Oh, that hurts. Your dad, did he do a lot of fishing always? Like, you, you, were, you grew up fishing? I grew up fishing with him, nice. but I'm, I'm way more into it than he is. I don't think he fishes much unless it's with me. Right. But he, he still loves it, you know? I like, uh, like, you know, him going with you to the Amazon and everything, like... Got him, buddy. Good. Oh, whoa. Big old spotted gar. I that's why you lost that other one, maybe. No, I snagged this one. I snagged him in the butt. I'm sorry, pal. Okay. He came off? He came off. I snagged him in the butt. <laughs> There's a lot going on right here. right here. Maybe maybe that was what I had, dude. That's why he didn't like he didn't get because you I, you set a hook on a redfish. You, you're really not gonna lose yeah. All right, my friends. Can y'all hear that echo? Thank you for watching. Um, had an awesome time with Joseph in that creek. He had to go, so I'm doing my outro without him. But it was a pretty cool day. Um, found some good gar. He caught alligator gar. I hooked a spotted gar. We both hooked some fish that we never saw that were probably pretty big. And then got a handful of solid red fish. No big ones. Not the big red fish we were after, but. I would not make a video if I caught those fish out somewhere boring, but in the creek like that, that was so, so cool. Awesome to find fish in a spot like that and to catch them. We go back there, we're gonna find some bigger ones. At the end of the day, I found this crazy tunnel. I've been fishing, there's three of them here. I've been fishing them for the past hour and have not had a stinking bite. All I got is this crazy echo. But a pretty cool day. Thank you guys for watching. No, I appreciate it. Please help me get to where I'm going. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys.